Ogre, Ganon, Krom, and Snake, as well as Toon Link from his name. So we'll see. We might get a, a uh, pantheon of characters here. But hopping into this first game here, we have got the Snake and Joker matchup. And this, I think, uh, really heavily favors Joker. The Rebel's Guard charging Arsene is a huge game changer because Snake has to be really conservative with his, with his explosives. Uh, otherwise, you end up playing against Arsene the entire game and not Joker. And it is really, really challenging if that's the case. Yeah, generally speaking, Joker has been considered to be one of Snake's best counterpicks so far in the meta. So excited to see if Oreo can manage to kind of get some silly Joker things going or if they will be able to just wall him out. They have played before. Oh! oh. Oh my goodness. Oh man, um, and Oreo getting exploited right away. Deus I, all over that recovery and gave him no chance to make it backstage. I may be wrong, I believe Deus beat Oreo at a Midwest Battlefield event in Indianapolis a few months ago. Gosh. I don't know how much else they have played in Ultimate so far. Yeah, he's well equipped to beat Snake, uh, You know, knows how to play the character himself, has multiple characters in his uh, arsenal that are you know considered to be advantaged against him by many players, so. But this is rough. Once you run out of Arsene and you don't get the kill, Ooh, okay, never mind. Get the up smash. <laughs> doesn't even matter. I was just about to say, well, you kind of need a smash. A but. common, a common uh, Joker problem is without Arsene, Joker has a bit of a hard time killing sometimes, especially against these heavier characters. If you can't get a good read on a smash attack, now there you get a good read on a smash attack. But generally speaking, you know, if you're playing Joker, like you need to be getting those gems, and you got to get killed with Arsene. And yeah, right away, right back into it's the like Arsene. It's like how in, in hockey, you need to maximize your power play. When you're playing Joker, you need to maximize your Arsene play. And one thing that uh, I'll be looking for at Deus is a lot of times people, I, I don't know if they're just like too not, too nice of competitors or whatever, but they're not willing to just sit on that Halo platform and wait out the Arsene timer. Oh, oh gosh. This is going to be rough now for Oreo, though. I'm curious to know if Oreo loses this game, if he will switch. He is known for playing, like I said, a lot of different characters. So I wouldn't be surprised to see like a Krom or maybe even the Snake Ditto come out. Oh, nice recovery from Deus. Able to come in aggressively to force Oreo to back off on the edge guard and then the, the little air dodge up and easy does it. Yeah, Joker, one of the best edge guarders in the game, but so far has not been able to get a good edge guard on Deus. Ooh. Deus oh. just kind of weaving in and out of those projectiles and out, in and out of Joker's range. Oh, right there. Barely avoided that back air. All right, well, Oreo, he's in prime position to get the kill here. And, oh no, the dangerous situation. Ooh, barely missed that forward air. All right, this is the spot. You gotta get this edge guard. Didn't get the spike hitbox he was hoping for. At least got an edge guard situation set up. Ends up in his own edge guard situation now. And that's gonna be a back air will seal that game. 1 0 Deus with a two stock. Yeah, that was pretty dominant, honestly. Uh, even with all the Arsene, like, Oreo did not have a hard, char hard time uh, charging it, but it really just was not able to get the KOs. And the early gimp on the, uh, the initial stock from Deus just set him up for success in that series. So Oreo thinking, um, he he does love triplats going town and city. All right. um, town and city makes me assume he'll stay Joker, but I th we I think, never uh, you never know with Oreo. Right. Yep, stay okay. in Joker. That makes sense. Town and city, a great Joker stage. He can recover forever here. Despite him playing a lot of other characters today, he told me that yesterday it was all Joker. Yes, in the early brackets. He he so. wants to go all Joker, but obviously there are times when you just gotta make that switch. He did it against uh, Q in round one. Got some nice uh, Ganon play. And uh, against Doorstop as well, that didn't work out in that series. Alrighty. Avoids the grenade off stage, nice. And this is a, oh man. He, you really gotta capitalize on those situations. I mean, exploiting Snake's disadvantage state is kind of the main thing that you're looking to do. Oh, barely missed the forward air. Yeah, it's, it's same thing that happened last game is honestly, Oreo's not getting the edge guard that he needs right now. And he hit the arrow, that'll do it. Back here, we'll do it there. Finally, that's what you like to see. And All right. only 77%, he can he can do this. Someone from the crowd has yelled time him out. Yeah, like, Deus is maybe being a little too aggressive when uh, Arsene's up. Yeah, like I said, a lot of players, I don't know if it's just like an honor thing or if it's just because they're used to playing that way, but he was straight down off that halo. He definitely could have had like a good five seconds to just like wait out Arsene, but not in this match. Listen, I am not too prideful for that. If, if Arsene is out, I am sitting on the platform. I am sitting in spawn. I am not going anywhere near that Joker Arsene. He's a beefy boy. Right. It's just a logical thing. Ooh, very Forward early Forward tilt KO. takes it. Yeah. Deus, though, at 96% already. Oh. 
you know, one solid edge guard and uh, got a nice two-stock lead for Oreo. So let's see what uh, Deus can do to kind of bring this back a little bit. I'm surprised not to see him going for Rebel's Guard on that uh, grenade. It would often would have faded out the uh, C4 as well. but Almost got that uh, spike there on the forward air. They used to just throwing out these forward airs, and it's working. So I really like it, actually, to see that from him. You don't see a whole lot of snakes aggressively going off stage with that forward air. And I don't know if uh, Oreo's been ready for it a little bit. Yeah, so much so that, obviously, some of the big highlight clips. Oh, man. There we go. Yeah, able to chase him down this time. Deus goes high, and... Uh, oh, no! Gets it with the forward smash! We have an even game here in game two. It is 0, 0 percent one stock apiece. Man, it feels like Oreo has to work so hard to get all his kills, and Deus is just kind of getting these freebies off the uh, unconventional moves. Ooh, nice grenade use there. I love throwing that snake grenade right back at him. <gasps> oh, my again. goodness. I love this. I've never seen a snake play this aggressively off stage. Yeah, like, Deus is showing no respect. Yeah, he says, screw Nikita. I got a forward air. Well, again, like that Rebel's Guard, it kind of shuts down some of the more traditional snake options. So smart on his part to be using these aerials in such a way. Oh, oh the almost C4. Got the air. If that up air had connected, it would have been game. But Deus has brought this all the way back. Deus was down big at one point and has really managed to make this a very even game. And Arsene's going to run out here. He's going to kill it, I think. Yep, there we go. Just in time. Able to get the KO. Otherwise, it would have become really, really challenging where you have a snake at 100, very heavy character, and no Arsene. But Oreo able to close it out, and he's going to take his first match. So there we go. 1-1. One, one. So I'm assuming Deus maybe against... Oh, right back to Town and City. Interesting choice. I was going to say, I know well, Oreo likes Triplast in general, not as Joker. He op he's opted out of Joker on Triplats when I've seen him recently. So I'm curious if he would have stayed Joker if they went to Battlefield or Yoshi. But here we are, Town and City, Game 3. Uh, you know, really past the first stock, they usually dominated that last game. Still couldn't quite bring it back enough. But, you know, let's see if that momentum keeps going or if Oreo can start off what he started off last game with. Quick 46%. I mean... Once you know the Snake's game plan, that forward air, the reason you don't see it all the time is because it's not very safe, right? So if Oreo is able to make the adjustments and be ready for those options, uh, as long as he's not getting caught off guard, there's definitely a lot of counterplay available to him. Oop, gets that forward tilt. Yeah, pivot grab didn't work. Ooh. Great Tetra Karn. Looking cool, Joker. I love it. Oreo never wanted to shy away from throwing the uh, taunts out. Ooh, really nicely avoids the C4. Wow, I'm so surprised I didn't kill. Oh, he broke Gets the Cypher. Attack. Yeah, if you break the Cypher, Snake cannot use it again. So if you manage to hit the Cypher but not Snake, then he is uh, forced to use other options to recover. That is so hard to do, though. Cypher not very big. Snake a pretty big boy. Right. So really good stuff from Oreo to manage to clip the Cypher without touching Snake. Yep. Ready for these up smashes all the time, uh, but not for the up tilt. <laughs> Uh, the Hega close to shield, not going to be safe. But that was only Oreo's first stock. They use on 71% already on his second stock. Oreo at zero. Edge guard situation for Oreo right now. Getting, uh, great, getting great mileage out of Eha. Yeah, not able to get the juggle, unfortunately. So this is Deus' chance to make a comeback here. I will say Oreo needs to be a little safer with these uh, Rebels guard. He has thrown it out a couple times, uh, and Deus is starting to catch on to it a little bit to just kind of wait it out and then punish accordingly. All right. The first forward smash doesn't work. Just press that button again. Get that early kill. And this is exactly what you want if you're the Joker player. Your opponent comes down, and you have Arsene ready to go. Like, cool. This is a huge opportunity for Oreo to really extend his lead. But so far, he's not able to get too much. And at 87%, as long as he doesn't take too much more damage, he could get another Arsene this stock. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Anytime there you, you go. can get three Arsenes out of one stock, that is a well-used stock. Oreo continued to sit under that platform. He's very, <laughs> very safe under that platform. That's partly why I was confused why Deus went back here. Oreo, when the platforms are out, Oreo has so much room to just kind of hang out. Especially on town where the platforms are always too high for Snake's explosives to hit you from, you know, above to below. Oh, great spot dodge. Doesn't quite get the punish, though. I'm surprised not to see him go down smash, honestly. Yeah, down smash. I think he kind of wanted the kill. I think he was thirsty a bit for the kill. He's but been looking for these forward smashes. I mean, it worked in the second stock. Why not the third? Oh, nice air dodge out of that uh, up tilt. Definitely would have killed it. Forward smash going to clip. Yep, in the that end. That's a all two stock. Was also, after dropping game one, 
Oreo's taking two quick games. We are heading to a game four. Oreo up 2-1. The crowd is not abused by this one. <laughs> no, not at all. After all the excitement earlier in the bracket, uh, yeah, this has been clean from yeah, Oreo. A uh, little bit of a stumble in game one, but once we got to Town of City, it's really been his playground. If and you were here for the, the Biggie Cheese set, right, that was uh, about as hype as sets can get. Yeah, Everybody. people really love the, the Ganon Gambles. Ooh, interesting. So we have a Sheik coming out from Deus. Deus' Sheik is sick. Uh, he is so, so clean with his character. The worry is, Sheik's not green in this game. And yeah. I don't think, I've played this matchup a handful of times. I am a Joker man myself. Oh, no. Uh, Sheik has yeah. a hard time in this matchup. I thought uh, Oreo had a, had a little blunder there, but no, did oh, not SD. Made it back to stage. Yeah, made it back. One of, the, one of the problems for Sheik in this matchup is that Sheik and Joker actually have a somewhat similar game plan. Joker is just better at it. Yeah, a lot of a lot more disjoints on his move set and more way more damage, especially right. with our every spin. time you trade, you are winning as Joker. And I think he's also considerably heavier than her. So I don't remember the exact weight. Um, I do not play a lot of Sheik in this game. But Joker always lighter than I think he should be. Whenever I have our set out, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm heavy, but no, I'm I'm still pretty light. Ooh. And Oreo's uh, favoring these smash attacks a lot. Really. Okay, yep. Believes Ooh. in his reads. Oh, grabs the wrong Ooh, way. Nice. Tipper up smash almost kills. So much for Sheik having kill problems. Yeah, that was a great confirm the down tilt to the Tipper up smash, but unfortunately not quite enough. And with our sin now gone now, if Deus can steal this stock, he's in a nice little lead for himself. Oh, great Rebels guard. <laughs> Phenomenal Rebels guard. <laughs> that, went from, that went from good to great real, real quick. Yeah, I'd like to see Oreo use a little bit more of the good stuff. I feel like he's kind of believing in his reads a little bit too much. Nice right. See, your character is just so strong. You don't need to go for all these crazy reads. You can just play um, two Joker's strengths. But so far, you know, it's good enough. Misses that forward smash. They is only taking 12% so far. I feel like the stock has lasted for a little while. Parry to getting killed. <laughs> Nothing like Parry to immediately dying. Gotta love that. Oh, the Sheik, everyone's throwing out taunts. Yeah. Players out here having fun. We're enjoying ourselves. We're in a nice mall with some good food to eat in a Dave and Buster's. <laughs> if you lose, go, like, play some shooting games or something. Make yourself feel better. There's definitely a lot of stuff around here to uh, blow off some steam. Uh, when Q lost, he tweeted, uh, walking around Dave and Buster's to make myself feel something. So, <laughs> you know, we're all out here trying to have fun, enjoying ourselves. But right now, uh, Joker, with such good use of Rebel's Guard. I like I said earlier, in that uh, Snake game, I felt like he was throwing it out a little bit willy-nilly at times, but here he's really made adjustments and throwing it out perfectly to catch Deus' attacks. Ooh. <gasps> oh, the Tetracarn lasts so long! Alfair will kill here, not able to get it. Went for forward tilt, up smash. We're just kind of throwing out every KO move in the arsenal. I really like that walk back forward smash. It didn't work out, but it's fairly safe on shield, and there's a lot of shield damage. Right. So it seems like a good, a good smart decision from Oreo there. Will he live this edge guard? No, he will not. They eat that back here. They use his elite now. He was down really big not that long ago. Yeah, that was a 50% uh, disadvantage, and now he's uh, stock up. So really good stuff from Deus. And again, getting those early kills on Sheik is such a big deal for the but character. Joker, a character with a built-in comeback mechanic, 12% right. already has half of his Joker uh, arson charge. Almost got a full arson charge. Will he make it back? Yes, he does. There Down smash go. will take that kill. Only 29% and almost a full arson. And there it is. Yeah, that is rough. Starting. Oh no. Goes for the up air. Up throw. That was probably a DI mix up. Normally at low percentage down throw will combo really well into like forward air or neutral air. So curious decision there from Oreo, but it worked out. So far unable to land the projectile, so avoiding the damage over time is Deus. And this is a big chance. Man, just interrupts the combo straight away. No string available off that down tilt. Okay. Once again, gets an edge guard situation. This is scary for Oreo because he won't have Arsene for a little while longer unless he can get more of the Rebel Guards. And Deus has proven he can kill Joker surprisingly early with his Sheik. <gasps> Up smash. Oh, almost died off that. Ooh, I think One the... more of those will kill probably. Okay. Oh, risky forward forward smash. smash. Yeah. In every iteration of Sheik, forward smash is never really a move you're looking to throw out there too <laughs> much in neutral. From it, melee to now. It works okay in this game, considering how weak her overall kit is. You know, it's just, you're kind of obligated to use it once in a while. <gasps> Back air. Oh, that's good. Take it. Oreo yeah. with a 3-1 win over Days. Oreo moving on to loser's side of top eight. He will play the winner of our next match. 
which will be, if I'm not mistaken, let me pull up bracket real quick. Yeah, I'm kind of... So, although on the last game, obviously, with the character swap, it makes a little bit more sense to stay on Town and City. Yes, but, definitely. But what... You know, if you're playing a best of five, don't let your opponent win all three games on the same stage. I think I would have gone somewhere else with that last game. I talked about this earlier today. I am of the philosophy, if I lose a game on a stage, I'm not going back to that stage for the next game. If it was right. close, maybe, but otherwise, like, I'm going somewhere else. I need something new. I need to mix things up a little bit. Yeah, I feel like uh, I prefer to, to come into all my events with a game plan. If I see a, a character, I want to know beforehand. You tell me any member of the cast, and I say, oh, this is who I play against that character when 